South Sudan's President Salva Kiir declares a state of emergency in parts of the country's northwest. The Egyptian government announces that it will end the visa on arrival policy for Qatari citizens from Thursday. And South Africans mark posthumous birthday of their former president, Nelson Mandela. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Jocker Rogers. We begin in northeastern Africa, where South Sudan's president, Salva Kiir, has declared a state of emergency in parts of the northwest. The statement broadcast on state television did not give a reason for the decree, but the state of emergency is expected to last for three months. Since 2013, the conflict in South Sudan has killed tens of thousands of people and displaced more than two million others. The last state of emergency was in 2014, in Unity State in the north and Jungle in the east as rebels fought government forces. Tensions continue between both sides as heavy fighting has also escalated in the east of the country. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, President Joseph Kabila has sacked the country's police chief, Charles Bisson Gimana. He has been replaced by a former army general, Amuli Bagiwa. The president has also replaced the head of the police in the capital, Kinshasa, Celestine Kenyama. Mr. Kenyama is one of those Congolese officials who had been sanctioned by the U.S. and the European Union, accused of human rights abuses during a crackdown on political demonstrations and other things, among other things. President Kabila was supposed to have stepped down at the end of the year, last year, but his time in office has been extended for another 12 months. Meanwhile, unknown gunmen in eastern DRC have kidnapped two Catholic priests in Our Lady of Angels Catholic Church in Bunyuka, an area located between the towns of Butembo and Beni. The two priests, Charles Kipasa and Jean-Pierre Akilimali, were abducted by a group of 10 or more assailants just before 10 p.m. on Sunday. The National Episcopal Conference of Congo, Senko, has called on the security forces to do everything possible to free the men. Three other priests abducted in the same area in October 2012 are still in captivity. Congo's mineral-rich eastern borderlands, a tinder box of ethnic tensions, has for more than two decades been the theater of successive wars and rebellions. In the east, Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta says the army will use deadly force against suspected Islamist militants as he campaigned for re-election in Lamu, one of the regions that has borne the brunt of militant violence. In the latest attack, suspected members of Somalia's al-Shabaab militants took a senior government officials and five other people hostage in Lamu last Thursday. Two people died in a rescue operation by Kenyan forces. Last week, the Kenya military said it had conducted airstrikes on Lamu's Boni Forest after the string of attacks blamed on militants in the area. Well, as the row between Qatar and other Gulf Arab nations deepens, Egypt says it will end uh, visas on arrival for Qatari citizens from Thursday this week, but this will not include spouses of Egyptians or university students who will be granted tourist visas on arrival. The change comes after Egypt, along with Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, cut diplomatic ties with Qatar. They are accusing the small Arab nation of sponsoring terrorism, a claim Qatar denies. <laughs> 